Hi everybody, uh, my name is Oshiro Sabohiso from Bifem. As you have seen in the past year, capital markets have endured some really wild swings, mainly due to the COVID-induced market crash that happened and the subsequent recovery that we have seen. Uh, this was spectacular in its nature and its swiftness. However, we have seen volatility happen like this before in capital markets, but it's up to the long-term investor to stay invested in the market so that they can benefit from the long-term capital appreciation process. And that's the thesis that we essentially try to convey to pension trustees at the Bozona Pension Society Conference. And in the way that we try to achieve that was essentially to remind pension trustees that inherent in the obligations of a pension fund is to optimize return over the long term. And the time horizon that is applicable for a pension fund is typically in the long term, it's typically over a long period of time. So we did that by showing a couple of examples, or demonstrating it with a couple of examples. One of which was to show an investment in this S&P 500 from 1980 to 2020. And had you tried to time the market, right, in this period, that's like 10,000 days. Had you missed just 50 of those days, 50 of the best days actually, you would have lost out on 93% of the potential upside uh, had you not uh, stayed in the market and just stayed invested even when markets were difficult. So that's just one example. And another example that we demonstrated this uh, benefit of long-term horizon with was with using the relationship with risk and time horizon, which is essentially inverse. We have seen that over the long term, we see the dispersion of return narrowing, which essentially means that risks or risk in general uh, becomes much more palatable, particularly for the, for the long-term investor when you have that horizon as, as, as a constraint. So that, those are some of the examples that we're trying to demonstrate this idea with. And essentially, the general conclusion was just to remind trustees to stay invested despite the market volatility that they may occasionally see because that's the nature of the market. And also to invite trustees to the idea of analyzing or appreciating market developments in the context of their own risk and return objectives. Because if that is the case, market crash like in 2020 or volatility events that typically happen in the market will not spook uh, pension trustees as they had in the previous year. And that is essentially the idea we try to convey to pension trustees. And thank you for listening.